Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to code signal work on the Python coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of the playlist and you want to start from the first video, uh, there will be a link in the description below so you can do that. Otherwise I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to the arcade. And then I'm going to Python here. Uh, so we did uh, this meet Python, Slytherin strings lurking in the list. Now we're on the Lambda illusions. So you can expect these are going to be around the lambda functions. Uh, so number 26 is repeat char. So we have to put the code in the missing ellipsis here. To make debug output more understandable, you often separate sets of logs by a single line of the same character. Since you use this method very often, you'd like to write a function that would handle printing the separator. Implement a function that, given a character ch and the number of times it should be repeated n, returns a string of n characters ch. So the example here they have, so the CH that they give is this star, and they want that repeated 20 times, so the output that they expect is this here. Alright, so they've set up some code for us, so they've got a variable here, repeat char equals lambda, so we have to implement a lambda function to get this output that we want. So some people are hesitant to use lambda functions when they're beginning because it seems a little bit intimidating. Uh, but they're actually pretty simple. So after the lambda, we put in the variables uh, that we want. So if you were doing like a define uh, function, uh, you'd have the variables like you know ch and n here in the function. Same thing with lambda, except you don't put the parentheses around it. Uh, so we're just going to put ch and n. Doesn't matter what order they are. And then we're going to put the colon, and then we just put uh, whatever we want to do with those variables to get the output that we want. So in this case, we're going to do ch times n, because if you take a string and you times it by an integer, you'll get that string repeated uh, as many times as you put for the integer. So in this case, it would be 20. Uh, if it was 3, then you'd just get 3 characters of star. So it's pretty simple. So if we go ahead and run this, we'll see that that's what we get. So here, the exclamation point repeated 10 times. That's what we got. Um, here, are the pound symbol repeated 11 times. OK, you get the idea. All right, so hopefully you have a better grasp with the Lambda function, and you join me for future videos. Thank you very much.